Okay, guys, here's the general wiring of the circuit board. I've got the GPS camera and a VTX hooked up to mine, and that's all I've got. Here's a picture of the header pins I soldered in. <clears throat> you can solder your wire straight to the board, but if you use these pins, you can possibly take take it out and put it in a different kind of plane if you want to fly a wing. This is going to go on a Bixler too. That, that's a picture of the GPS. It's a BN 880. There's a run cam 2 with a pod with a VTX. I, I run Pagoda and triple feed patch on my uh, DVR monitor. At the end of this, uh, towards the end of the video, I'm going to get you into the INF program and let you see how pretty much it all works. You have to do a lot of programming. This is today. <clears throat> the GPS doesn't work inside the house. This is pretty much a, a bench check on everything so i've got it all plugged up outside without the laptop to it just got it powered up and you can see it's already got 10 satellites it sees and it goes up to 11 and goes up to 12 and the highest i've seen was 13. this is just sitting on the deck rail on the back deck of the house looking into the backyard but I was able to, to get 13 satellites from here at home. So the next time I fire it up, it'll lock in my location a whole lot easier. This uh, program is super nice, but it's really designed for an open RX radio. There's people that use Spectrum, but most people use open uh, radios on this which I'm a, I will probably get me one but as of now I'm just going to fly it with the uh, on screen display the camera uh, the VTX hooked up and the GPS hooked up that way I can fly the plane manual in a FPV what I'll do, the, the screen that you see now, I'll have a cord plugged in a AV out, out of the monitor into a set of goggles. And I can fly off these antennas off my, the Pagoda and the triple feed patch. I'll see this signal into my goggles right from the monitor the dvr and i've got an sd card that's plugged into this this evening so i can record it but i've just got basic stuff on the screen longitude and latitude and longitude if you lose your plane you go back to your recording and pretty much see the last signal the location you can find it with your cell phone this location and pretty much go find your plane if you lose it because way out of sight it falls out of the sky i had trouble with inf when i first I downloaded there's three drivers you got to download 
And I, I download all three drivers. And a lot of them's in zip files. You have to unzip them, put them to a folder. Then, uh, but I have problems with it. So I, I got a third party, basically a third party app to fix those drivers for me. And it's called an impulse driver fixer, something like that. I've got links in here where you can find it. And I worked a day and a half solid pretty much trying to get my board to flash with INAV. And I just couldn't do it until I got the uh, all the drivers straightened out. Once it's seen those, I hooked it, hooked it up to a USB and they recognized it the first time in and I got the board flashed to 2.4 and uh, I got OBS open right now just to record a, a screen capture for all this <clears throat> but I'm going to take you into the program a little bit and uh show you the functions inside the program. You get the, uh, the board plugged up to the USB inside the program you can see the gyro move back and forth a minute ago and these are some of the setting pages that you can go into to get your board set up there's a lot of perimeters that you gotta learn and values and there's a lot to learn in this program and this is the first time for me to program this type program at all. I've got Betaflight downloaded. It's Clear Flight, Betaflight. It those were this is taken from those kind of programs. But this is designed for a wing application or a VTAIL airplane or a, a regular aircraft with fixed wings. So that's the reason I picked up this board and controller and this application to fly the uh, Bixler 2. And I've got the gyro set up. But I don't, I've got a compass on the GPS, but it's not necessary to use in, in a plane. So I, I just got it disconnected. I got four wires running out of the GPS plugged in. And um, basically all I've got is a run cam video is running in. And I've got, and it's going out to the VTX, to the Bogota, back to my monitor. That's how I've got it wired up. This is a look at basically your on screen display the osd and you can add any kind of configurations in the world to this so much you won't have room on the screen to look at all of it you can cater it you can like have four different setups on a switch for your monitor on your your uh, onboard display and uh, this is real helpful if you want to see how fast you're flying I've got everything in, in uh, not in metric but imperial so I'll have miles per hour and 
feet and miles. That's that's how I got mine set up. And uh, it's very easy to go in and set up a different profile, which I'm setting up one right now, other than my first one. But it's pretty much, you do a lot of studying, a lot of reading, but it seems like a real great program. And there's a lot of places that you can get your basic setups for a plane. And that's what pretty much I've done, which I'll be flying my bird right now with a lemon six channel with a satellite hooked up to Spectrum GX6 Gen 3 radio. But as soon as I can get me a, an open TX radio, then I'll I'll go ahead and put the servos into this flight controller. But like you, you can have up to two motors on this flight controller, which I'll be running one on a Bixler. But you can have up to two motors, two S. Two, S, two ESCs soldered in, but um, it's really super nice program. If you want to fly a wing FPV or like a, a Sky Hunter, Bixler, um. I'm setting the uh, where I want to have the stuff located on my screen as I look at it. <clears throat> Just wanted to get you into the program a little bit, let you see what all this is about. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. But hopefully I can get this this thing up in the sky this summer and get some high altitude flying in. But I appreciate you coming by.